part two. And this is my second favorite movie. And at one time, it was my favorite movie in the franchise. Um, just because. Um, well, well, you know what? I'll say this is my best part of the movie. I'll save that. Though. I'll give you my overall thoughts first. I think this one is near perfection. Okay, near perfection. And I think it actually helps the movie that Jason's in a sack hit. I kind of like that he's not yet in the mask, you know, in the hockey mask, right? And I, I think some of you, like Jack, what do you think about that? Do you think he should have had the hockey mask in this movie or do you like the sack hit? I think the sack hit adds another dimension to it for some reason. And it almost makes it feel like kind of um, a backwoods slasher, right? Whereas when he's got the hockey mask on, it doesn't feel, it just feels like a camp slasher. So I think this one, it definitely has its own flavor to it. And even the killer feel, it doesn't feel like Jason. It feels like a different killer for some reason. Um, um, best of part two, Sackhead Jason. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. I don't know if that's my favorite. It's partly my favorite. I'll get there. Hold on. So overall, this movie's like a 4.5 out of 5. I think this movie, like, you got freaking Jenny being like one of the greatest final girls ever. Uh, you got an awesome, awesome Jason in the movie, a unique Jason. I love the characters in this one and how, um, when I say I don't like the remake, um, because of the characters and I'm trying to tell you that these aren't the characters that I like about Friday. I'm talking about part two. These are the characters, like as far as the characters that I like in a Friday movie, checking every single box, the characters in this movie do it. There's just something about them. I don't know what it is. They have a certain, there's almost like an innocence to them, even though they're there to get laid and be promiscuous and everything. There's just something more innocent about what they're doing in that movie, the way that they're doing, the way that they're talking. Whereas in the remake, it feels more like today, I guess. And and that's fine. But I, I just, I don't know. Call it nostalgia, right? I guess that's what it is. But I've always loved the earlier Jason characters. And uh, part two is the biggest example of that. All right. So now, now that I've given you my overall thoughts on the movie, my favorite part of the movie, if I had to pick like a, like a, just one moment, it does involve Sackhead Jason when he comes through the window. Holy shit. When he comes through that window, one of the, like, I, I didn't think they could top the jump scare from the first movie. I think they did it. I think, and it's it's a very similar scare. I think they tried the scare in the third movie and it failed. That might have been the worst part about part three. That jump scare, the the repeat of the first movie, it just felt like a cheap knockoff. Uh, and it, I didn't think it was that that scare was a good jump scare. But the jump scare in part two, when he comes through that fucking window, holy shit! It, I I literally jumped. The first, like I, I was oh my god this is freaking killed me freaking killed me when he his face looked crazy mangled and just nasty with the long hair and everything Ugh, it, it's it was too much you know they i think they had the best jump scares in this movie it, like when she's like reaching for the dog she's reaching for like the one window and then he like comes in through the other window too so there's a couple of really good jump scares but that's my favorite scene um Worst thing about this movie? <clears throat> Again, I need to think. I need to think. Hold on just a sec. Oh, I think I know the answer. I know the answer. Worst thing about this movie? I'm going to say the opening. <clears throat> and I don't even dislike it. But the opening with Alice, I almost think it wasn't necessary. Like, why kill off Alice? If there's no real purpose to kill off Alice then why even do it I guess and I think that was a thing that was common with slasher movies back then was um, just <clears throat> getting rid of uh, you know the, the the remaining characters that survived you know because you you get behind these characters so much and when they survive it's like the greatest thing ever you know and you're like yes it's like we're in this together right we did it and then the next movie, they kill him at the beginning. You know, and that used to be a trend back then. And I don't think they do it as much anymore. But it just, I guess it just takes the wind out of your sails. You know, you're like, shit. And you get so used to it that you think, damn, I'm celebrating now, but are they going to just kill him in the next movie? I don't know. So 
Yeah, I guess that's that's probably it. It's a nice scene, even though I think it stretches out way too long, you know? And I don't even think there's that much tension in it. It's just, you're just, you know it's going to happen. Maybe there's tension in it, but I don't know. Yeah, so that that's my, I guess that's my least favorite. What's up, guys? You are at the end of the DD Live clip. Uh, what I do is I like to clip these out if I think the, the topic is important or something that's newsworthy. So thank you for watching. And uh, if you want to watch more, you can you can go over here. You can go over here. Click on one of those. And uh, yeah, in uh, hopefully I can do this for 20 seconds, which I think I did. Okay, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys.